Hey guys, today was not update. By the time this video comes out, it's most likely yesterday because I don't think I would cut it today, but still, uh, we had an update. And one of the things that came into this update was um, Lario's Awakening. And I just want to go like quickly over Lario's um, um, Awakening, things to notice, his Awakening skill, his stats, like the usual stuff. So this is Lario. Uh, one of the commanders you can only um, get in the recruitment pass. Unlike Barrett, for example, which originally only was in the recruitment pass and you can also get in the Werewolf Memories now, Alario is not in the Werewolf Memories. So you have to buy his medals for the um, uh, points there. If you're free to play, it takes a while, but you can um, for sure do this. And if you are paid to win and buy the uh, 100 PD pass, then you are pretty quick because you can buy every month his uh, 150 tokens. And like this, you will be uh, done in two months and then you just need a bit only because 330 is um, easy to achieve. Uh, so far, I think uh, Lario's biggest um, like use is um, for very low spend uh, free to play people against uh, Spear Rebels. Um, for that, I know some formations with Blue Lario and some formations with um, Golden Lario. Keep that in mind if you will awaken him and if you use him for Rebels, that you will need new formations. Um, for him, he kind of works a bit like Enzo, just not so good. He has passive that he does more damage when he loses more life. Kinda like Enzo. But as you can see here, it's only if he falls uh, below 40%. And not uh, like and so every percentage he loses he gets more damage and here it's uh, like a fixed um, percentage you need to uh, get under to get the buff so if you awaken him it might destroy some of your formations just keep that in mind okay now to the more usual stuff like every commander awakening has to do by the way this is most likely the third last awakening video since after him only Fais and uh, Mango are left. If we don't get new commanders, this will be like the third last video and only two to follow. So let's hope for new commanders. And by the way, for free to players, I hope the other two get awakened pretty fast. Um, so his stats are 30% Infotech, 50% Spearman Health Reduction, and enemy uh, defense reduction 10%. So um, both again goes up by. 60% um, with 3 stars and in maximum you get another 18% um, Infotech, 18% Spearman Reduction and another enemy total um, defense reduction 90%. So we will be uh, left with an enemy total defense reduction 36%, an enemy Spearman health reduction 42% and uh, Infotech buff uh, 66%. By the way, since this awakening is pretty similar kind of to Barrett. I will often like um, compare him to Barrett and here since people will um, value attack more than the defense stats I would say he's already better than Barrett because Barrett only has uh, defense and hearts and he has attack. He's quite good to use for free to place and I think also if you are a small spander in certain situations, he's kinda good with his awakening skill for pay to win players. So let's just look onto his um, awakening skill. Um, the text is a bit, um, yeah, not ideal still. I think that will be like corrected in the next few days. Normally it should um, mean something like after each infantry lineup attacks four times. So each of your columns attacks four times. And whenever one of your columns attacks four times, you have a, uh, your um, inf hearts will uh, be increased by 5%. This is not a lot, but still, hey, you get it for free, let's take it. There's a 50% chance to, um, to do a crit with 120% damage. If you compare that to Barrett, who has a 50% chance to inflict bleed only, no crit. The um, bleed itself, if it procs, would do more damage than the crit because the crit only does 20% extra damage. But also Barrett silence himself, which Lario does not. So for free to plays, it's way better to bring Lario to four stars. And Barrett, you should always keep him at three stars because 
his silencing effect takes way more damage away from him than his four star awakening gives. Um, but Lirio, even if you have no bleed, you can without the problem awaken him to four stars. Keep in mind though that his um, attacks have to be normal attacks, no weakness, so his crit effect does not work once Jamie's active. Cool thing about his crit though is if you have Rhea, Rhea will inflict for every crit a stack of bleed. So you have a commander that is exactly like Meryl, by the way, and Meryl gets valued very high by some people. You get the Meryl just for inf and most Bleed players play inf, so um, for now it was always the saying that budget bleed is pretty weak. Kind of agree with that, but then budget bleed with good Kevin main hand is pretty strong, especially against other um, weakness players. But with this, you get the buff for budget bleed, where you could try out if he works better than something like Lutz, who just gives you stats and a little bit of healing effect. So if your stats are very high, he might be better than just the stats that Lutz does provide. To be honest, that would most likely need a little bit of testing, because if you um, use him like this, infantry has 28 attacks in 40 seconds, more or less. Um, every fourth attack will crit, so um, you potentially have seven crits. If you then take into account, you have a 50% chance only at quitting, you have three and a half crits. Um, so with five lineups, it's like 17.5 crits over the whole fight from all, four li from all five lineups, which would mean just for the bleeding effect, 1700% um, of 1700 or 1800% of damage from the bleed. And if you then consider that with uh, Zinara just unlocked, yeah, something around um, twice as many normal hits, you would have uh, like 3,500% um, of damage just from the bleeding. You also would have 340% extra damage from the crits, or if you have Zinara, then you would have 680% extra damage from the crits. I think that's quite good and will most likely work better than, for example, Lutz. Um, stats and lots healing um, but if you have budget bleed i would say if you don't use him for the robots then just spend the tokens um, and try it out if you need the, him for the robots maybe wait for the first people to have real results like comparing lots and lario um, or other commanders and if you have bleed then don't really know what commander to pick or to put because for example you still have Adria in, in it then you should for sure go for Lario as a free to play anyways go for Lario he's better than your inf alternatives I would say so enjoy playing with Lario